anthropomorphizing them anyway. Haven't seen you in some time. To which one of the Animo Archon's wins do I owe the honor? Oh, is this your way of saying that you missed me? Since it wasn't meant to be with this little birdie, I'd better leave it alone. Let's take a walk, shall we? If you're wondering why I'm here, Jean's been worrying about trade safety recently. I discovered this when I unwittingly burst into her office to save the day. Another job involving long-distance travel falls to me. I suppose it's my own fault for having such a strong sense of duty. Still, on the bright side, business is now taken care of. And I have unused travel funds, so I was planning to... Gundafar, we are in the middle of a war. Your place is at the front lines by my son's side. Pray tell, what provokes your unwarranted return to the palace? A matter of utmost importance, your majesty. Huh. Outdoor theater. Looks fun. Ah, yes. Here's what I was thinking about the unused funds. Given that the acting Grand Master saw fit to allocate these funds to my trip in the first place, I think it's my responsibility to make sure that every last Mora is put to good use. In other words, what do you say we find a way to spend the remaining budget? Perhaps a fancy meal at a nice restaurant? Or a river cruise that takes in the sights of Sumeru City? Or we could buy a few nice mementos to take home. Hey, no need to put it like that. Let's keep walking. We can consider it some more on the road. The rules of the Knights of Favonia state that any and all expenditures during a business trip are counted as travel expenses. That's more than enough justification to live a little. Of course, with me being here on my own, it was looking like a wasted opportunity. But now that I've run into you, why don't we make this a joint trip? You're always so busy. It's high time you gave yourself a proper break. Even the sharpest blade loses its edge if it's always in use. Regular maintenance is essential for reliable performance. And anyway, life is short, so we should make the most of the time we have. Right now is the perfect time to relax and enjoy ourselves. And who knows how many other chances we'll get. So come on, what do you say? Great. Music to my ears. I'll cover the travel costs, of course. There's nothing more enjoyable than the company of a good friend. Let's call this a nice little excursion to round off my long business trip. Now, let me think where we should go. Hmm. I've seen a lot of Sumeru already, so let's go for someplace new. How about Liyue? I'd be heading past there on my way back to Mondstadt anyway, so it's not out of the way. <laughs> well, lucky me. I'll hold you to that. Liyue's Ministry of Civil Affairs frequently corresponds with the Knights of Favonius, so the address on their letterhead is one of the few places I'm familiar with. I don't have much luggage, so it won't take me long to pack. Give me a moment, and then we'll head there together. I've heard that there's lots to see and do in Liyue, but I'm sure you're more familiar with the place than I am, so I'll leave the itinerary to you. Excellent. Well, hopefully I'll get to know some of these friends for myself. It's such a satisfying feeling to just drop everything, go on a long trip, and see something new. Who knows who we might cross paths with? We might even end up going on an impromptu adventure. Just like how I met you in Port Olmos, and now we're here. Come on.
Do you know this shop? It looks pretty nice from the outside. Shall we take a look? Welcome to Mingxing Jewelry. We are a long-established trader of precious stones. Is there anything in particular you're looking for? Hmm, let me see. Ah, some nice jewelry you've got here. Maybe I can grab something with a local flavor as a souvenir. What do you think, Traveler? See anything that suits my style? I trust your judgment. Ah, oh, you're interested in souvenirs. If you're struggling to decide, you might want to consider getting some jade. You can't go wrong with a nice jade pendant. They're an elegant addition to your look, whatever your age or gender. If you're looking for a specific design, we can make it to your spec- Oh, that's a pity. I'm just visiting and I won't be in town for very long. So as much as it pains me to do so, I'm afraid I'll have to leave this beautiful bijou behind. No worries at all, sir. If you're looking for something off the shelf, why not go and see Mr. Shirto at the Jade Mystery? He also deals in jade and precious stones. Exactly. But on that note, there's no risk in purchasing a piece of jade that's already been cut. But you could lose all- <laughs> I- It's only human nature. The Ministry of Civil- I think that's sound advice wherever you go into that. We appreciate it, boss. Welcome! Looking for uncut- Uncut stones? Ah uh, yes, we were just briefed on that. Hmm... Let's take a look at the pre-cut jade. I believe I detect a qu- Feel free to peruse at your- Sure, you can bet- My terms are clear- Sounds perfectly reasonable. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much the vendor is charging. If the customer decides to hand over their money, they're taking the bait of their own free will. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you understand. Although your peculiar phrasing at the end there, you almost make it sound as if I really am scamming people. <clears throat> anyway, betting on Jade is what it is. Feel free to try your luck, but if you can't afford to lose, then it's not for you. We don't need to cause each other any trouble. I'll leave you to browse at your own pace now while I deal with other potential customers. Hmm, amber-colored Jade would probably make for a good souvenir. Why not? This is a quirky little place. Somehow, I'm inclined to entertain him for a bit. Well, if you're not interested, then I guess we'll pass. Ahoy there, Captain! Uh, fancy seeing you back in town. <laughs> uh, struck any gold lately? What, a poor sailor like me? You must be joking. I barely managed to make ends meet. What about you, Chateau? Still scamming people with your pile of rocks? Hey! Keep your voice down! I mean, you want the full li Captain Kaya! Oh, just take- Yes! <laughs> Anywhere you'd recommend- Let me think. W and, uh, speaking of- Your wife? Ah, uh, yes. How is she doing these days? Keeping well? Very well, thank you. Very well. Anyway, uh, I've got something I need to do down at the South Wharf, so my apologies, Captain Kaya, but I'd better get going. All right. Ah, I finally remembered who that was. Captain Wu. He runs a transport business between Mondstadt and Liyue. I see. So you Old Wu's usually quite the chatterbox, so it's very unusual for him to- An educated guess. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, honestly. The captain was making a delivery to Mondstadt when his ship sprang a leak. He overexerted himself fixing it and keeping the cargo dry. Hmm, well, it still seems his eldest was once- I'm just- Well, stubborn, I can believe. <laughs> Someone had drilled a gaping hole in his ship, and the water was coming in fast. How he managed to make it- Someone drilled a hole in his ship? Oh dear. His line of work isn't it. Competition is f Anyway, I digress. We merchants... 
I am an upstanding member of the Knights of Favonius, after all. Just look me in the eyes. Don't you find me trustworthy? Since you asked about recommendations early, if memories so Huh. Sounds interesting enough. Let's check it out. So this is the Huyu Tea House. Ah, we meet again, Captain Kaya. What a coincidence. Twice in one day. Oh. Uh, Woo, weren't you just at Wanwen Bookhouse buying a book for your daughter? What's this talk about the wharf? Shh, just leave it be, Aunt Jong. <laughs> There's no need to embarrass it. I take it that you two aren't from around these parts. I'm a caravan guard by trade, and meeting people from all over the world is one of the main perks of the job for me. Why don't you join my table so we can get to know each other? Oh, uh -huh. seems like the tea house is the place to be in Liyue. Feels like I'm back in the angel share. Did you manage to get something for your daughter just now, Captain Wu? Yes, thank you. If it weren't for you, Captain Kaya, she might not have even made it into this world. I'm so lost, Wu. What's the story here? <sighs> Your wife's originally from Mondstadt, isn't she? Did you run into Captain Kai when you were there on business, or when you were visiting the in-laws? <sighs> the latter. Oh, this is so humiliating. Anyway, Back when my wife was pregnant, we were taking a trip to Mondstadt to visit her parents this one time, when we were mugged by a group of treasure hoarders near Dawn- Oh, that sounds awful. I mean, he- Yes, he d My wife was- Uh- I- Huh? No, that's not- <laughs> They did- The treasure hoarders always move in groups, and fighting back when you're outnumbered isn't usually an option. It's no surprise that they quickly overpowered Captain Wu. I'm just glad that everyone made it out alright at the end. Captain Kaya, please, there's no need for you to try to save face for me. Yet, despite that, they tossed me into the water. What I'd intended was that was before Captain Kaya appeared out of nowhere, and but God knows what they did with my club. <laughs> Outrage! So, uh, I made it to the winery. After my wife recovered consciousness, she had to have a. L <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, good luck living. Trust me, I know. I'm sorry, Captain. I wasn't intending to share that story. It's fine. It's my own fault for thinking I could sweep it under the car. Still, it won't stop me from trying. You and your friend are here to catch the storyteller, right? The tea's on me. It's the least I can do. In fact, they do serve some food here, too, but it's not the best. Okay, let me run and get some fruit to share. I'll be right back. Oh, poor Woot. I wonder how much fan- He really didn't have to share all the details of that story. But since he didn't seem to mind, I wasn't about to stop him. I did actually forget at first. But once he brought- D. Luke thought some pervert was harassing the maids. He charged straight out the door, great sword in hand and raring to go. I haven't seen him so angry in a long time. <laughs> <sighs> so many people owe me favors nowadays. It's hard to keep track of them all. I really should go check my favors ledger once I'm back and refresh my memory. Hey, you didn't think I was being sick. I just helped the guy out on a couple of occasions because I happened to be in the right place at the right time. I have no intention of asking him to do anything for me in return. At least, not so far. I'm back with fruit. Please help yourself. Thank you. Oh, don't mention it. 
It's just a few fruits. Nothing. Once my new pharmaceutical business. Pharmaceutical business. Uh, shipping's in pot. I'm gonna become a part. It's specially formulated to treat C. I've suffered from it myself. It's a good call. That's impressive. Oh no, not. He gave me a. Dr. Baiju. Yeah, I told. He said that he. Sh uh. But I got chatting with Dr. Baiju recently when the Secure Transport Agency did a del- Huh? What, Captain Wu? Uh, just out on the street? <sighs> Hold on a second. I just remembered. He spent a lot of mora on it, but when he brought it to Bubu Pharmacy, this by Fuzi you met. He did. If I may, Captain Wu, there's a lot of mora involved here. It seems like it would be worth asking this Dr. Baiju about his master, just to set the record straight. You could show him the medicine as well. Clearly there's some misunderstanding here. You're right, Captain Kaya. A quick trip to Boo Boo Pharmacy and I can get Dr. Baiju to clear all of this up. I'm sure it's all... He left in a hurry. He mu Hey, let him... I'm no Dark Knight hero. Or a martial arts hero, for that matter. And neither are you. Wait, where are you? Now that I think about it, I can see you having a secret double life as a martial arts hero here in Liyue. Either way, Liyue has its own rules and regulations. Best to let the Ministry of Civil Affairs deal with this in the proper manner. We came here to enjoy ourselves, remember? We don't want to get our priorities mixed up. Oh, and look at that. The storytellers taking the stage. It is said that the sky's the limit for the yet fate. Is that all? Oh, I was hoping to hear the rest of the story. It was all right. I suppose the hero always has to sacrifice himself to save others, and it does make for some good storytelling. But it leaves you wondering how he really feels about the whole thing. Did oh. I see the show is... yeah... I see. Then what are you waiting for? Don't you... Hold on. Let's not lose our cool. Well, uh, I'd arrange to meet him at the Yunshang T. Okay, so... Uh, I've got no one... Young lady, you're a good person. The consequences are mine alone... T hmm... It's obvious, isn't it? He needs to report the case to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Huh. Come with me. I am quite curious. How does our chivalrous martial arts hero intend to come to Captain Wu's rescue here? There are countless victims of injustice in the world. We can't try to help each and every one of them, can we? Oh, ho, ho. I'm surprised. I didn't know you thought of me as someone who helps other people unconditionally. I'm genuinely flattered. But we both know that I'm not that kind of person, really. Your logic is very straightforward, and quite endearing in its simplicity. But I like how you think. So I'll indulge your martial arts hero aspirations for now. Captain Wu, how would you feel about owing me one more favor? I'm sorry? Let's say, if it could be- What exactly are you getting at? The Traveler- Captain Kaya? Alright. Alright, then it's settled. Per our brave hero's plan, let's rendezvous at Yenshang Tea House tomorrow.
on. How are you? Did you rest well? Yep, this is a comfortable place to rest. Saying thing, but it's... That's a weird... I know what you mean. <sighs> Good luck, everyone. Hold on. Huh? But wait. Uh, I'm I'm just... You can't back out this time. It's... Yes. The person in... A scholar? Oh, I... into death time for takeoff let's light it up oh this rocks By the sky. Gliding with Barbados. Wait a minute. <gasps> Finding treasure is pretty exhilarating. Oh, this rock! 